Hi, my name is Karen Sawyer, and I am a children's entertainer. I offer face painting. I also do glitter tattoos, airbrush tattoos, balloon twisting, and comedy magic. And I'm also known as Skeeter the Clown. And then that's where I go and have a good time with the kids by providing all the services I just stated. My background is sales and marketing. I have a degree in marketing from Morgan State University in Baltimore, Maryland, and I'm also a licensed makeup artist. And my background, again, is in sales and marketing. And I came to Face and Body Art because of the numerous birthday parties I've hosted for the foster kids I've had over the years. I started to face paint at the parties. I enjoyed it so much. So I started taking classes, and it just took off from there. And I've been having a great time ever since. The most challenging thing for me about face painting at the beginning was getting those crisp brush strokes. So I was up for the challenge, so I practiced every day, about 15 to 30 minutes every day. And it took about 30 days or so, and I was able to execute pretty good brush strokes because I did invest a lot of time. So that was the most challenging piece. And then after that, I would say the most challenging thing was to come up with some unique designs. I mean, there's so many designs online and you can copy work all day long, but I found that I wanted to come up with my own creations and I found that a little bit challenging at the very beginning. What came natural for me, I would say, was the sponging techniques and the blending colors because I found that fun and that came pretty, pretty easy for me. And I began to explore with color and I had a good time with it. So that came pretty easy. And also I find that another thing that came easy was working with the kids. Because I have been a foster parent for so long. I have been around kids, lots of kids, all types of kids. So that came easy with the job, just interacting with the children naturally. Let me see, what inspires me? I just like things that have a lot of color. Um... I don't really have anything other than that. Just anything that's bold and lots of color just draws me to it. The advice I would have for a new artist is, number one, don't think that you are going to be an excellent artist in two days. Give yourself time, be patient with yourself, invest the time and it will come to you. That's what you have to keep reminding yourself because at times you're going to get frustrated because you see these marvelous artists that you just idolize and you try so hard I want to be just like them and you have to realize it took them a while to get there too so just be patient with yourself and allow yourself time and put the time in and that would be the biggest advice I would have is just just be kind and don't beat yourself up and I can't do this, this is hard. You can do it, I promise you, you can do it. It just takes time and if you invest the time, I promise you, you will become the artist that you set out to be. And then you can learn from everyone, not only face painting artists, other artists in your community. And, and that would be the advice I'd give you. When I began, I wanted to do this just as something on the side to get me out of the house have a little pocket money. It was fun. I had no idea that it would take off and I would become as successful as I have. It just took on a mind of its own. It was not my intention to do this on a full-time basis. It just grew. And before I knew it, I looked up and I'm like, whoa, this is like my full-time job. So it wasn't my intention. It just happened on its own. And it's been, it's been a journey and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Actually, it changed my life. And I really enjoy what I do. I'm very passionate. And one of the things that I set out for in my life was to find work that I loved so much that it didn't feel like work. It felt like fun. And I would be willing to do it for free. But I did it so well that people would be willing to pay me for it. And I looked up and I was in my lap. And I was like, wow, I did it. And that's exactly how it happened. My background is sales and marketing. And I do have a degree in marketing. I'm passionate about sales and marketing, so that does help me, that aspect of it, for the business side of my business. But as far as the art artistry part, I'm not, I would say as a kid, I like to draw and doodle a lot, but no, no one ever nurtured that and said to me, wow, you're a great artist, you can do something with that. And no one ever encouraged me to take any courses so I can become better at it. No one ever encouraged it. So as I got older, 
I discovered face painting and I really enjoyed it and I remembered wow as a kid I really enjoyed drawing cartoon characters and I would do it for hours just sit and doodle and I just had forgotten all about that so then I decided to start taking classes I took a makeup class so I can learn about color how to work with the facial features I just enjoy it so my background really is not in art but I was good at drawing as a child I really enjoyed it I don't really remember exactly how it happened but I remember the first time I taught a class was at a small clown convention and I went in and just basically shared everything that I had learned along my journey and then I was then invited from someone seeing me there actually it was Marcella saw me teaching that class and was like I want you to come and teach at the big convention the face and body art convention and I was like floored what me oh of course I wasn't gonna say no I thought that would be a great opportunity for me to share my passion with others and that's how it happened what sets me apart from other face painting artists in my community is that I am multi-talented I don't only face paint I do face paint, I do body painting, I do airbrush tattoos, glitter tattoos, I'm also a clown, so I entertain children with comedy magic, storytelling, and I also couple my face painting along with the storytelling so it makes it different and it gives the wow factor and it adds a little bit more entertainment value. And in addition to me offering my services, I also have a team so I can offer other artists. So for the things I don't offer like fortune telling, stilt walking, um, caricature artists, I can also provide that so I'm like a one-stop shop for entertainment and we have high quality entertainment and that's what sets me apart in my community. Absolutely, I think it's very important to network with other quality artists in the area. You can help each other out if you have a really large corporate client and they need numerous entertainers. If you have already collaborated and networked with other quality entertainers in your area, then you have them that you can bring along with you to go do the gigs. If an emergency happens with one of your children or you get sick and you have a commitment and you know other quality entertainers and you know they can represent you well, you have someone to go to and say, could you please cover this gig for me? So I think it's very important that you collaborate with other artists that you respect and admire in your community. Absolutely.